Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, said Psychic Medium. On today's show, I'm going to try to take callers from Blog Talk. Uh, if I call your area code, please uh, give me your name, where you're calling from, and have one, one specific question available for me. If you'd like to c connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. If um, if you are calling in and I do call your area, area code, give me a new question. Don't ask me something you've asked me 10 times before. I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to let you go and you can figure out a next another question for the next show. Um, and there's a reason for that. And I'm not going to I think everybody would understand what the reason for that is. OK. Next, if you are watching on YouTube, hey, thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you, everybody, for who's here joining me live or watching on one of the many uh, streaming channels, television channels, listening on radio and or any podcast station you are listening on. Okay, there's so many people in the chat today. There's a ton of callers and a ton of people in the chat. I love it. Thank you all so much. Thank you for being here. Um, <clears throat> so typically, I start out with um, names of loved ones on the other side in here, or for names of people, and they could be someone from the other side saying hello to somebody here by saying your name, or it could be their name. The first name coming through is Brian, then Tiffany, Michael, Michelle, Luis or Luisa, Luis, L Louis, no, nope, not Louis, Luis, L-O-U-I-S-E, L-O-U-I-S-E, Luis, that's what they're showing me, um, Mercola, um, it, there's so many names, coming at me right now. It's crazy. Okay. Jennifer, Gerard, Brian, um, O'Boyle. Some of these last, some of these names, I feel like they're last name. So if it is a last name or a first name, it's okay. Um, <sighs> Gangsta. Whoever's name was Gangsta. <laughs> Really? <laughs> How did you make it to the front of the line to give me a name? Um, somebody, uh, I, okay, so, and then there's, uh, okay, there's Janice. Um, okay. I cannot even, you guys, I can't. Whenever I go to listen for one name, there's like 20 names that come through. And so they're like literally showing me the names in front of me, like in print. There are so many people trying to get names through right now, which is so beautiful, but also so uh, um like I, I feel, I feel like, oh my gosh, I need to get all these names through for everybody. So I'm going to do my best to try to get as many of these names as I can for you. And if I can't get them all, I apologize, but I just feel like I should just say every name at this moment. Okay. Oh, okay. Franklin. I, this I think is a, a name I'm not going to be able to pronounce M. Missouri, Miss, 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 it looks like mystery, but it's not Miss. It's, I feel like it might be like even a French name because of the way they're trying to pronounce it. But anything on that line, please accept it as that. Okay. Billy, um, Chuck or Charles, um, Jerome, Jackie, um, 
I'm going to just only be able to take two more names and then I have to move on. The next name is um, Millie. And the next name is um, Madrid. And okay, so Madrid could be a name, but it could be if you also if you went there with this person, that's what they're they're saying. Okay, um, Diane, Donna, um, and then somebody is saying they were the diplomat, the diplomat of the family, the diplomat, the diplomat. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, songs. And oh my goodness, all morning, you guys, with this song, all morning. I, I'm not even going to get the words right. What you going to do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That is the song all morning long playing in my head. Welcome to my world. The next song is, um, is there, um, don't let him go. Take it easy. Take it slow. That song. I think that's Ario. The next song is, um, Take a chance on me. And then this song, Make a Wish. I don't, I can't, I hope whomever that's for, I hope you know it because that's all I'm hearing is make a wish and um, make a wish, baby. And uh, nah, nah. I don't know. I can't even get the tune. I'm surprised I did get that much. I feel like it is a, an older song. The next song is uh, Something is a Canvas. Um, Oh, I know that song. Oh, I think that's for Scott. Um, okay. Um, but it could be for anybody. It could be, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It could be for literally anybody and anybody. Um, the Canvas Campaign Miracles, Just You Wait and See. I don't, uh, okay, the next song is... Um, and these songs, okay, let me, I didn't say this at the beginning. And there's a lot of new people coming to the show, returning people. I love you all. For those of you who are new, um, the songs can be a song they loved, you loved, they listened to, you listened to together. Or the song can be the answer to a question that you've been trying, you've been something you've been trying to figure out. Um, the, ne <laughs> the next song is to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, that song, uh, Rihanna, I love the way you lie. No, no, none of us love the way you lie. Take that someplace else. We don't love the way you lie. Mm -mm. We full grown over here. We don't need no lies. <laughs> Mm -mm. Um, and then, oh, burn, watch out. You might get what you're after. <laughs> that is not how they sing it. <laughs> 365 degrees burning down the house. <laughs> I just changed the whole beat of that song. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, um, uh, yeah, uh, oh. Suicide Blonde, and then, um, uh, yes, yeah, Jesus, um, I can hear the song, oh, I want to get this song so badly, one more song, this is going to be the last song, and then I'm going to, I'm going to move on, um, uh, oh, God, it's that song, I've, I've sang it before on the show, put another log on the fire, Cook me up some bacon and some beans. <laughs> okay, if you've never heard that song, you just have to go listen to it. It's the funniest. It's just so hilarious to me. Okay, everybody, uh, we're about to get into the show. Hopefully, I will be able to get callers. I'm hoping I can get callers. Um, it's been very... Um, very challenging. I, I had to call in a number of times. I don't even know if I'm even on there right now. Uh, so yes. Uh, uh, guys, <laughs> thank you, Sal. <laughs> so I'm going to go through, I'm going to take a caller. I will call your area code. 
and uh, then give me your name and where you're calling from. And then uh, you can ask a question. And then um, I will be going back and forth between questions on YouTube and questions on the call log. Now, if I can't get through on the call log, it'll be all YouTube today, but we're gonna, we're about to find out what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna go to the first caller, 559. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with it. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's five, five, I think that's it. I think, um, I think we're gonna end up doing all, 559? Five, five, Yes. Hi. Oh, yes. I had to try. I had to hit it twice. Okay. So how can, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Evelyn. And I'm calling from California. Evelyn, how can I help you today? Um, you know, I'm just wondering if I will be a mother in the near future. Um, I've had two miscarriages and it's something that I desire. And having two miscarriages um, makes me feel, I would say, less of a woman. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but just incomplete. Um, and just wondering if that's hopefully in in my in my path. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to ask this question a little bit differently than you would. Want me to first and foremost, I'm okay. so sorry for your miscarriages. I know that that's devastating, whether you just found out or you were further along. I know I'm sorry for your miscarriages. I know everybody is so sorry for your miscarriages. There's so much when somebody wants to actually have a baby, there's so much hope and joy with that. And then to have it turn around, it's just devastating. Um so the first thing when you were asked, I'm getting goosebumps from my feet, like I all the way up my legs. And if you I have like this blanket over my legs. So I have this goosebumps all the way up my legs and it, even in my feet. And I'm going to tell you um, the first thing I heard when you said, am I going to be a mother? The first the actual first word I heard was timing. And then as you were talking, they said, timing, 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 timing. Just like there's a, there is a timing to everything. And giving mm -hmm. actual birth, there is a timing to that also. I do feel like there will be one, at least one child in your life. Mm -hmm. um, you will give birth to from what I'm hearing right now, what I'm hearing right now, you will give birth to this uh -huh. baby. You will have it. Um, they're saying naturally. That doesn't mean it won't be a C-section. That means it, it'll come out of your body. Okay. Um, uh -huh. I feel like this. This November. Next November. I feel like next November is going to be important whether that's when you get pregnant or whatever I don't know that that's about a, your way but that is really an important factor in this is next November um and one of the things I want to say about this is no, no um no matter what happens between um now and then just you know, I do feel like you're going to find out news prior to next November, but just stay calm and relaxed and just have that knowing that it is going to happen uh, for you and anybody else having complications, getting um, pregnant and carrying to full term to giving birth. Let's um, do a clearing for that. And let's do a clearing for healthy babies. Let's clear for that. Oh, that's a biggie too. That's really big. And let's do a clearing for anybody having trouble getting pregnant. Let's clear that. Um, the one thing I want to say to you, and I, I have to be very, very careful of the way that I am going to say this. Um, don't put keep your body really clean of any, any toxins. Don't, um, 
and I know that you, you, the type of toxin I'm saying is not the typical type of toxin that you might think of, but I can't say certain things on YouTube and such because they'll they'll just cancel me. But don't do any seasonal things. Don't just keep your body really clear and clean of any toxins between now and that time, okay, of giving giving um, birth. Um, that'll be very, very helpful for you, okay? Um, so let's uh, make sure this clearing goes. I do feel like by next November, you're going to know, okay? That might feel a little bit off for you. But I like a little bit, not off, but a little bit far away for you. And what I'm going to say is it's not it's not as far away as you think it is. OK. And remember, there is a timing to everything. OK, Evelyn, I hope this was very, very helpful Thank for you. you. Thank you. Oh, you are so welcome. Appreciate Thank it. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you so much for calling in um, and call in anytime. Happy to hear from you and help you in any way that I can. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Now I'm going to go to a, a question. A question on YouTube. Okay, Nancy. I think Nancy's the first question. If she is not, I apologize. Hey, Nancy, how are you today? Hi, Tony. Will my landlord or owner answer my request or just communicate with me? I left him several emails with no reply. Thank you. Okay. Um, Nancy, try texting. Uh, you may have the wrong email. Don't call, text, um, and see if you have better luck getting through that way. Um, I do feel like there might be something with, there's something hinky with the email. I don't, I don't know what it is, but try texting is what I'm getting. Um, and before and be prior to texting, and I'm sorry, Nancy. Please don't take this personally. Don't be nitpicky. Like relook at the requests and make sure they're all valid. And um, one thing I've learned and I've rented. I'm renting now. I've owned. I've rented. Yada yada. Um, I unless I have to, I don't go to my landlord for anything because you know they're busy number one and number two um i don't want a rent increase <laughs> so <laughs> so i would just say if um it's something that you can kind of um if it's not a necessity don't worry about it right away but if it is obviously go to the landlord and have it, you know, taken care of. Um, but I'm hearing, try texting. I feel like there's something hinky with the email. That's what I have for you, Nancy. I hope that is very, very helpful. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 559. 55. Oh, sorry. 559, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, no. You know, you already took my call. I'm just listening in. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for letting me know that. I'm going to go. So th thank you. Okay. I'm going to go to 204. See, folks, I get lost all the time. 204, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Alan, and I'm calling from Canada. Alan, how, thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? Uh, I just want to know about my love life. Okay, um, I'm just going to ask a quick a question just to make this a little bit more exact. Um, are you already in a relationship? No, I'm not in a romantic relationship. I'm single. Okay, and Alan, how old are you? I'm 52. Um, I have a Jamaican background. You're 52? 
Yep. You sound like you're like 16. Am I? <laughs> I am so. Yeah, yeah. You have. I, so... I, I get told I look um, a lot younger. I'm the one that says that you look like uh, Betty White's uh, daughter. If <laughs> Betty White was uh, younger and had a daughter. Okay. Um, and your name is A L A N, correct? That's right. That's exactly how it is. Okay. I'm so, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the answer that I am hearing and I hope that that uh you are I hope that it is helpful. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna just give you what I'm hearing. First and foremost, they're saying, and I don't know what this means, and I know you did not ask about this, but this is the, this has A leads to B is what I'm hearing. Uh, make sure that your finances are exactly where you want them to be and that that is smooth. And then at that point, someone is going to come in, okay? Now, I normally would never give that message because we can meet somebody at any given point, but sometimes some of us, feel like everything in our life needs to be perfect. Every duck needs to be in a row. Otherwise, we can't um, subconsciously even, we're not ready for a relationship. So what I'm getting for you is there's something with your finances, whether, and I'm going to give a couple crazy examples here. Um that is in the way of the relationship. Either you feel like you're not where you want to be financially, you don't want somebody to want you just for your finances, or you you are okay financially, but you there's something just something about once you get your your finances, once you do something with your finances, the relationship will pop and be right in front of your eyes. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, it's okay. <clears throat> it's very, 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 very okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very general clearing for uh, you are ready, willing, and able to be in a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no. And that hits me right here in the, you know, uh, the fear solar plex. And this is not only for you, uh, for everybody, uh, uh, there's something stopping or blocking healthy, loving relationships. I get a yes. Let's clear that up. Let's clean that up. Holy. Oh, and you know what else I just got, Ellen, is that sometimes in a relationship, if we were in a relationship in the past and it negatively affected our finances, we will subconsciously be nervous about getting into another relationship because can we protect ourselves in that way? So that just came in also. Now, I'm not sure which scenario it is for you if you're even, if this, if you see this as fitting right now, but they're telling me it fits. They're really hitting this home for you, <sighs> whatever it is. And, um, and, you know, sometimes in relationships, we do get, tend to be uh, generous or kind uh, financially, or, you know, we can be whatever it is. I'm not, I don't want to go down too far down that road because I just feel like the, the solid message is once, once you feel secure or once you do something with your finances, the relationship's going to come in. So I'm going to do one more clearing for you and everybody else. Um, our finances are in order. I get a no. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the whole entire world right now. <laughs> um, and in order doesn't only mean like we have enough. It can mean we are feeling safe and secure no matter how much we have or don't have. Oh, I hope this is helpful. Um, I do feel like in December, December into January, there's the potential for you to meet someone. 
and you have to believe and and I, the way I'm going to say this, please um, don't. You have to believe or know you're good enough no matter what. That you you just being there, nobody cares about the other things. It's just your personality. It's just you as a person that they're really interested in. You don't need to bring more than you. And I don't know if this makes sense for you. I really hope it does. Okay. It's uh, like I know we're still going to uh, ask one question, but this is the aspect. Is it within the house, like like where I'm living, or is it a long distance? Do you mean the person that you're going to meet? Yes, or someone that I already know already. I'm just, just curious. No, that you don't. I'm, I'm going to say this. You don't know this person. And okay. when they said you're going to meet this person December, January, um, that would mean you don't know this person yet. They're coming in. There's the potential for somebody to come in December, January, that's going to be a really good potential person for you. Um, just know that you're good as you are and you don't need to be more or bring more. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. I thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful I was able to talk with you. Um, okay. I'm going to go to the next question on don't, don't, don't YouTube. Uh, thank you, Fawn. You are super, super kind. Isabella. Hi, Tony. Does my dad, Doug, have any message for me? Isabella, I think we've talked with Doug before. That makes it easy to connect. Um, Isabella, the first thing your dad wants to say is, um, it's really weird because it's me amor, me amor, or me, my, like my love, my love. And the, the next thing I hear is that song, that's amore, when the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. Um, the next thing is, um, Somebody's is somebody's birthday coming up soon, Isabella, because he's saying happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Um, and he's saying that this is um, something about the favorite uh, time of the year or the favorite. And he's showing a big um, a big t a table like um with all the dressings, with all the, like a turkey with all the dressings, with all the dressings, with all the dress, like, um, like the favorite time, of, like, uh, okay, I, I know what I'm going to say here. Like, I often think I love Thanksgiving. There's very little expectation from people because there's no gifts expected. There's just a big meal and people you want to be with and you get to talk and eat and have just a great dinner together and everybody's happy to be there. Now, I don't, I love Christmas too because I'm a, a gift giver, if that makes sense. But what I'm getting is that Isabella. So please, um, I'm going to actually, I have to remember where I was. Um, uh, Isabella, my birthday is coming December 18th. Thank you, Isabella. And <laughs> thank you for confirming that. Thank you so much. Yeah, happy birthday. And then he's also saying about this being the favorite time of the year. And maybe it is your birthday dinner, but I feel like he, he really liked the big dinner, the big celebratory dinners. Um, uh, maybe he didn't love always uh, like, um, you know, but like they were, they were, they were expensive, but they were so worth it. Loved, loved the big dinners. So Isabella, that's what he wants to say. And um, 
you know, obviously happy birthday from him and me and everybody else. Happy birthday and happy birthday to all the Scorpios and the people who have birthdays coming in. Happy, uh, happy birthday, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Isabella, for, um, for confirming that for me. I really, really, really appreciate that. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 77, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Kate calling from Florida. Hey, Kate, how can I help you today? Tony, will you connect me with the message that is for my highest good in the present moment? Yeah, the message is give me a direct question. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my God. Um, Kate, like that makes me crazy because that is just, here's what I'm going to tell you, Kate. Um, people never like the answer to this, to that type of question. Because when you oh, ask. I usually love it. I'll go direct. I'll go direct, Tony. No, it's okay. You, know, you were just talking. Go ahead. Um, I'm happy I, to be direct. I'm not. I'm not a woo woo. Tell you airy fairy things. Uh, whatever comes through is what I tell you. And sometimes the message is um, that come through are not what people expect, but. The biggest message for you right now, if you're just letting them tell you whatever they need to tell you, Kate, there's something you need to get together in your life. There's something you've been ignoring or procrastinating, and you really need to get on it now. You can't procrastinate it any longer. It's time for you to start looking at this a little bit more, uh, uh, with a little bit more... I don't know if the word is seriousness or a little bit more resi result. Like there's there's something in your life you've either been ignoring, procrastinating, kind of pushing to the side. You're not being real realistically looking at it, and you you really need to be like they're using the word down home about it. You need to get you need to get realistic or centered about this one thing in your life that you're kind of every time you go to look at it you're like oh but I'm gonna go over here instead this is more fun oh I'm gonna go over here instead this is you you keep it's like me with my taxes I keep pushing it aside I don't want to look at it I don't want to look at it I don't want to do my books right now I just want to like every time I look at that corner of my desk I'm like Oh, no, but you know what? I, I'm going to turn on music instead. It's something like that for you. I'm not saying it's taxes, but it is something in your life that you kind of really, you need to focus in on it and you need to take care of it now. I'm going to say this, this could be, and, and they're not saying what it is, but I'm going to say it could be money, health, relationship, finances, which is money. Um, there's some area you really need to, 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 to get a little bit more serious about Kate. I hope that is helpful for you. Does that include travel over Thanksgiving, Tony? You know what? That is exactly why I don't answer questions like that. And Kate, I love you. But if that's what you wanted to know, that's what you should have directly asked. And here's what I'm going to say. If you're planning to travel over Thanksgiving and you haven't made those plans, make them. Um, don't put it off. Don't put it off. So for those of you calling in, if you have a direct question, ask that direct question. If you say, what does spirit want me to know? They're going to tell you. I don't feel like that's what it is, Kate, but, you know, again, whatever it is, you're really not wanting to look at it right now. So you uh, take that however you want to take that. And I hope that whatever it is, you've been kind of avoiding setting up. And if it is the travel over Thanksgiving, ask yourself why. 
ask yourself, why am I procrastinating on this? And then get into it and do it the best that you can. I hope that was helpful. And that is what I have for her. Um, thank you, Rebecca. I was really nervous about this color. It is a little bit, it's a little bit bold. It is a little bit bold. Um, Michelle Lee, Tony, I was wondering if my late husband, Casey, had any wisdom for me on where in life right now, some I'm, I'm in life. So I'm, I'm something in life right now. I had a rough day on his birthday, the second. Oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so Casey, the first thing Casey would want to say is, um, and this is my partner song that always comes through. Tell her I love her. Tell her I miss my baby. Oh, won't you tell her? So that's a song that's coming through. And then the next song that is coming through, I didn't even think I was going to do another song, is um, uh, it's I Don't Know This Song. Remember when? Da, da, na, 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 na. I don't know if somebody knows a song like that. Please put it in. That's all I can hear from that song. And the next thing that uh, Casey would want to say to you is it's going to get better. Um, remember, life is a roller coaster. We go up that hill with so much anticipation of either happiness or fear or it's hard work or something good is gonna come when we get to the top. So when we're in the roller coaster seat and it's like an older roller coaster where it goes chink, 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 chink. Gosh, I just don't like roller coasters. <laughs> and you're either in anticipation of the fly down, in fear of the fly down, or excited about just getting to the top because you've made it to the top. Um, Remember, that's what life is like. You're just chinking up the hill and then maybe a little bit of a flat surface and then whoosh, we go down. So in the difficult moments of going up that roller coaster slope, please grab on and in, in, enjoy the slow pace or whatever's coming in with that up the hill and then fly down and enjoy it. Um, this is not going to be easy for some time, um, Michelle. And I am really sorry about your loss. And I'm really sorry about your suffering. Um, and the holidays are coming. So it's going to be a little bit difficult through the holiday time. And I, the one thing is, remember, I'm not gone. You just can't see me now is the message coming through. I'm not gone. You just can't see me now. And then, Michelle, the other thing I'm seeing is tattoos. I'm seeing all these, like I'm seeing tattoos. I don't know if he had a tattoo, you have a tattoo, or there's something of a tattoo that reminds you of him. And if you could just please post that for me, Michelle, I really... Um, yeah, I hate roller. She says he hated roller coasters. I hate roller coasters too, Michelle. But that, like, the analogy of going up and going down, um, and life being like, like, like a like the going up and then flying down is the important thing. And yeah, I don't, I do not like roller coasters. Roller coasters are so creepy. I I swear to goodness. Um, yeah, so um, Michelle, if he had tattoos or if there's a tattoo or you're thinking about it or you do, there's something. OK, so there's something about a tattoo and I know what I'm seeing. I don't know if he had it. You had it. Somebody else got one after he I don't know. Or if it's a symbol, there's a if it's just like when you see this. It's a sign from him that he's with you. But the biggest message, okay, I'm going to just go past the tattoo thing because um, because um, I'm going to go to the, the biggest thing he wants you to know is he, he's like the invisible man now. So he's always with you. He's always there. And just be in that space 
of being with the invisible the invisible man if you will okay um so that's what uh he would want to say to you and he's sorry you're having a rough time and so are we we're really sorry i hope it gets better for you i'm gonna go to the next caller and the next caller is 519 519 what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony this is jennifer from canada hey jennifer how are you Good. I heard a whole bunch of names from my family at the beginning, so I thought I would call in from, for a message from Spirit. Okay. Do you have an exact uh, person you want to connect with or an exact question, Jennifer? Well, uh, I'm going to go with Lewis, and um, I, there, a mirror fell off the wall, like, but it's like an antique mirror that used to be my grandparents' mm -hmm. house, and really it should have broken but it didn't break, but it made the loudest noise. And my son, who was home for a weekend, and he's not usually here, he thought it was a message. It is. Um, no, that's not the first thing I was going to say, so I love that that flew out. Um, yeah, it didn't break. It wasn't supposed to break. It was just supposed to get your attention. Um, the biggest message I'm hearing is um, there's two really huge messages I'm hearing. One is, Share it with the next generations. Share it with the next generations. Keep it alive. And then the second uh, thing is, um, oh, man. Okay, so the, uh, share it with the next generation and snap out of it. Snap out of it. So when things happen that fall or <clears throat> whatever, they're getting us to snap out of our, our, where we are, what's going on, like snap out of it and then share it, like be very open in sharing ancestral lineage, ghost spirits are here sort of stories. <laughs> um, so okay. they really want you to share it with, with the generations that are coming in. Let them know it's real. This is this is they can they can communicate with us and they are um they are in that space to do so okay um mm -hmm. and they're gonna be mm -hmm. sending more messages um bigger like expect bigger to see bigger things to see bigger so okay J jennifer when and the reason I close my eyes is when I'm gi giving these sorts of messages is because I'm seeing things and then I'm also hearing things and I don't always hear it. It just kind of flies out of my mouth, folks. That's what channeling is. Um, but what I'm seeing is you're driving down this road and like there's not, there are some other vehicles on the road, but there's not a lot around this road. Like, um, like it's kind of out a bit, but there's but there's this huge, huge angel. They are all huge, but this huge angel in white that is there. So whatever happens mm. or whatever you see or sense or feel on this road, know you're protected. I don't, I'm, I'm not seeing everything. I'm like seeing a still shot of this and it's, it is driving. It's while driving, but they're saying they're sending you more and bigger signs. And this is, um, this, if I'm getting it correctly, because I see it two ways. First, the angel is directly like in front of your vehicle. And second, the angel then is off a little bit out. And then I hear like a near miss, but we'll wait and see what happens with that. Um, just know you're always protected. Just know you're always um you're always protected, but you're going to get more signs. You're going to get more symbols. And, and when you're in the vehicle, listen, not like not, not just like if you hear a like turn left, get in the next lane, 
that car is, I always, when I'm driving, I'm going to tell you something, you guys, when I'm driving, like they don't even have to say it anymore. If I just see a vehicle, I'll have a knowing it's going to cut me off or it's going to do this or it's going to do that. So, <laughs> it, it, there's, there's so much when I'm driving and traffic is moving like that it, intuitively I just can see what's going to happen with the traffic. Not at a stoplight apparently, but when traffic is moving, um, uh, it, it is. And, and at that stoplight, I couldn't have done anything because there's cars in front of me and on the side of me, but whatever. Um, but I feel like in traffic, there's going just, I don't want to say, I don't want to project anything to you. I just feel like that is going to be something that you're going to have a knowing of a near miss or a protection. And you may even see this, what looks like a huge white cloud or a huge white like just a hue, a hue, thank you, not huge, a hue off to the right a little bit. And you're just going to know, you're going to be like, that's, that's it. Exactly. Okay, Jennifer. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful for your call today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, for now, for now. Um, Okay, you guys, I want to say there, there's uh, more questions here and there. And I want to tell everybody, you know, a lot of people uh, don't realize that we have a, a minimum of two angels with us at all times. And when things are changing in our life or we're going through a very difficult period, more angels will come in to assist um, sometimes if we're learning something new, going into a new um, <clears throat> business, anything uh, different is coming into our life. Other angels will come around. But the two main angels have been with us since our first inception. They're with us until our very last. And they've guided us all the way through. Um, they're not the boss of us but they will work with us on anything that we do need and or want. And a lot of people think here on this plane, we've been taught to um, not want too much, but I'm just going to say within your comfort zone is what you will receive. So, Another way of saying that is whatever you're comfortable with is the life that you will live. Learn to be comfortable with more. Learn to be comfortable in a bigger way and however that can come to you. We were put here to create and co-create. We were put here to have this expansion of this plane to have this expansion of the dimension that we live on, not to escape to other dimensions. We're supposed to make this dimension, the dimension that is comfortable for us, comfortable in what we want on every level of our being. Being wealthy in whatever way doesn't make a person less or more spiritual. We, we are that. We are either this or we are not this, or we are it to a certain degree, whatever that degree is. So if you're a spiritual person, you're going to be spiritual no matter how much comfort in what is comfortable for you, you are living in, okay? So don't think what you want is wrong. The reason you're given the vision or the want in your heart is because it's something that you're meant for, that is meant for you, and you're supposed to bring it together as part of your plan and your purpose and why you are here is to bring that together and to bring that into fruition or into reality for you. This plane is all about taking the unseen, 
or what's seen in your mind and felt in your heart and making it seen in your world or reality. And the only reality that really matters is your reality. And everybody, every single person gets the 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 uh, gets to live in their reality. Every single person gets to live in what their reality, their mind, their their mindset is. So if you are living uncomfortably, if you are not comfortable with the amount of money you're bringing in, if you are not comfortable with your home or where your home is, if you are not comfortable in your relationship, friendship, partnerships, you have created erroneously. You have created from a space of fear rather than a space of faith. I'm channeling right now and I'm not going to stop them. I'm going to let them continue because this is so important at this time in this world. If you are uncomfortable, that means you settled out of fear. You took this because you were afraid nothing else would come in for you. You said, I'm going to, I'm going to get this because maybe there won't be something else for me. Instead of comfortably waiting until what was right came in. And instead of asking, is this the one for me? And listening to that answer of yes or no, even if you heard there's better or no, there was a fear that I must take this because it's here now. And what if something better doesn't come? And we do that all the time with work and we get into a workplace and we're not happy with the boss. We're not happy with the pay. We're not happy with the coworkers, but we're afraid there's nothing better. But what if there is only better out there? Can it get worse? Yeah. Okay. If you think that way, if that is your reality, but if you come from that place of seeing and feeling a better place, you will get that. You will get that better place. So you have to know that the, your personal world, your personal creations, your personal, what you want comes from your head and your heart, your mind and your heart, what you feel and what you see. Now, if you have fear with that, that will be part of what comes into your reality. But if you are unhappy with any aspect of your life right now, it is because you have settled. It is because you didn't wait for it. Or it is because something inside of you needs to be um, at peace. So I'm going to do a clearing right now. We are at peace. I get a no, all that caused and kept this. We're going to clear all of this for everybody. And I'm going to tell you, peace is the perfect place to create from. Now, what is too much for you is not too much for the next person. And what is perfect for you might be too much for this person. So never ever judge what somebody else's comfort level is with things, whether it be finances or home or work. We all end up in our comfort zones. You work within your comfort zone. When it's no longer comfortable because of conflict, then it's your sign that it's time for you to move up or to move over, but to move out of this place because it is not comfortable. Everything in your life should be comfortable. There should be this beautiful comfort with it 99% of the time. Your home should be comfortable. You should not have to worry about things going on outside of your door. If it is not comfortable, it's time for you to start looking for some place where you can be comfortable. The same thing with relationships and friendships. If they are not comfortable, it's time for you to move up, move over, move on. However you want to look at it. That doesn't mean your friends are not good or whatever. It just means it's time for you to start looking in another place. It doesn't mean your job is not good. You've outgrown your job or, you know, there's something else waiting for you to grow you. You are, it's always about growth and expansion. And this plane is 
1 million percent about expansion. We are supposed to be working every single day to expand this plane, to be starting businesses, to be creating products, to be creating whatever it is we are comfortable creating on this plane. We create out of faith. We create out of love. We create out of vision. Now the powers that be know that. They have a different idea, but that's not ours. And we have to keep them out of our head and our heart so that we can create the plane we are supposed to exist on. <sighs> okay, let's take the next color. I can't remember where I was. I really can't remember where I was. I don't know if I did this. I think I did. I'm going to go to 111. 111, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hi there. Hey, it's going great. My name is, my name is Tina. Uh, and ma'am, I love talking to you because you're always right on. Uh, I have a question for you. There's some um, lady that, um, it's a female, and she's like, I just tea in her letter. In her letter. Do you use, um, she harms a lot of people. Do you sense perhaps uh, she will be she will be caught in some time? Or she's going to run away again? Okay, so what I heard, and I'm sorry the connection isn't that good, but what I heard is there's a lady and she's doing something and it's harmful on people? Yeah, it's hurting people. She does business transactions that are mischievous and tricky. And she's hurt a lot of people. Um and also pretends to be some type of lawyer slash medical, which she's not because I checked. That 90 out. seconds. Okay. I wonder if she will ever get caught. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to say. I'm sorry I have to put you on mute, but I'm going to answer this very quickly. She will, she has already been caught. She has already been found out. She has already been um, exposed in certain areas. Um she knows exactly how to, I'm hearing, run a game and then and then move on. Um, 60 seconds. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Will she do jail time? I don't know. Will she be punished? Yes. Remember, this is not, if you believe in past lives, this is not the only life. And she will come into a life next time where perhaps all the scales balance out of everything that she did in this life. But the lesson also is for us to investigate, to look into things and to, um, to not go for that quick fix. I don't, I don't know how to say this without, it's not our fault. We get scammed, but we have to do our due diligence also is what I'm going to say. Okay. At 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Thank you, guys. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you so very, very much.